Eleven Labs AI generated sound effects made it easier to get the sound effects for videos or podcasts without having to dig through some massive sound effects library, which is especially complicated if, like me, you didn't know the name of something to search for it, something like a Brahm. With 11 Lab sound effects, you just describe the sound that you want, click generate, and you get four variations to pick from. 11 Labs just upgraded sound effects to V2, which includes better quality, the ability to create looping sound effects, and a longer duration, up to 30 seconds. Let's check it out. In 11 Labs, we'll come over here on the left menu and click Sound Effects. There's sound effects here that have been generated by other users. You can preview those, you can download them, or you can use the prompt they use to generate a new sound effect. And you can filter these by category, whether or not they're looping, and what the duration is. This could be fun just to explore the sound effects, or maybe get an idea of what kind of prompts people are using to get what kind of effects. But we're here to generate our own effects, not explore the library, so we'll come down here to the prompt box. It looks like the last thing I did was breaking news music. We'll get rid of that. Let's just type in a desk bell ding. Below your prompt, you have three settings. You have looping, currently set to off, and it gives us an explanation that looping makes the end blend seamlessly with the beginning so that you could place this multiple times in a row on your timeline track of whatever editor you're using, and it'll just play through and sound like one thing, not like a bunch of small separate clips. We don't need looping for a bell ding. The next option is the duration. Auto lets 11 labs figure out how long the sound effect should be, but you can click on that and drag this slider anywhere from about 0.6 seconds up to 30 seconds. We'll just leave it on auto for now and see what it does. The last setting is the prompt influence. The default here is 30%. A lower influence level will let the model be more creative and a higher influence level will keep it more constrained. We'll leave it at the 30% and click the go button. Our four variations are ready. Looks like they're each four seconds in length. Let's see what we got. Those sounded pretty good. Number three gave us a double ding there, and you can tell by the waveform in each of these that the sound itself is really only taking, what, maybe a half a second or a second, and there's a lot of silence getting us to that four seconds. So to tighten that up a bit, instead of the auto duration, we can click that, and let's set that on one second. We'll click the go button. That's gonna be 40 credits for our four generations at one second a piece. When we had it on auto, it was 200 credits for the four generations. Let's see how our one second bell sounds. And if one of those is what you need, you can click the download button to grab it, or you can add it to your favorites and make it easier to find later. Now, if you don't want the sound effects that you're generating to show up here in the library or explore page, you need to click this disable button. We didn't do that before we created these desk bell dings, so those might show up in the explore page. I'm fine with that. Let's try something different here. We'll do a cartoonish trombone wah 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 sound. I don't know what that's called. I do need to switch the duration because I don't think that'll fit in one second. I'll switch it back to auto and we'll click the go button. And here we go. <laughs> These are pretty good. That had a few more wah wahs than just two. That one was fun. Let's try to create some sound effects for this video. I've got this clip on a track in Filmora 14, but the basic concepts would be the same in any video editor. It's raining outside, that could be a sound. We've got her sip it from the cup. She sits the cup down on the table. And then the cat meows. So let's head back over to 11 Labs. I'll say a woman sips from a coffee cup, hit the go button. We've got four sounds. Yeah, not feeling that one. Ooh, that was awful loud and then gulpy. Listen to that one again. So I think we can use that one both for our sip and for sitting it down on the table. So let's grab that one. We'll just click the download button. We can get it as an MP3 or a WAV file. We'll just take it as an MP3. Back in the video editor, we'll drag and drop our sound file. Looking at the waveform, the sipping is going to happen right here in the beginning, and then the sitting it down is going to happen here at the end. Remember, we got a two for one out of this deal. Let's just play through that once. All right, we're gonna split that. We'll come right here before this second part, the part we're gonna use for her sitting it down. We'll split that. Then I'll grab this first part and just shorten that up a bit. 
And let's move this sitting it down sound out of the way here because it looks like we're in the spot about where she's sipping. So let's drag that over around in this neighborhood, bring the playhead back and find out where that needs to be. And just go through, yeah, it looks like maybe there is where she's sipping. Well, let's see, right here. Okay, sipping. There she would definitely be done sipping. So let's go from the end. Move this until that waveform is pretty much at that spot. See how it worked. Yeah, that looks pretty good. All right, now let's find the spot where she sits it down. Right about there is where it touches. So let's drag this one back until the beginning of that waveform is right about at this frame. Come back a little bit, we'll play that through. Yeah, I think that'll work. Now we need our cat meow, so let's go back to 11 labs. I'm gonna keep it real simple and just say cat meow. We'll see how that works if we need to make any changes. We'll hit the go button. All right, here's our first cat. <coughs> Oh, that's an angry kitty. Okay, number two. Uh, I don't know about that. Yeah, not sure I'm loving that either. All right, I think we can take the first part of this last one. That one would probably work. Or you know what? Let's try a single meow of a friendly cat. See how that works out. Here's our first one. That's not a single meow. Second one. That's not a single one either. That's, they might be a little long. Let's try number three. Well, that could work. Number four. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. The number four from the last round, I think the beginning of that one would work. So we can either click this button here to go to our history, or we can click the history tab up here at the top of the page. We've got all our generations here, and hey, we can search the history and even filter those by whether they were looping and what the duration is. We don't need to do all that because our cat meow is right here. Number four, let's play that again. Yeah, the number four from this generation, we'll use that one. So download MP3, got this similar effects button here. Click that, and what do we have here? One, sound of a barcode scanner. Two, gentle and cute cat meowing sound. Okay, three, all right, I don't, I don't really understand. Maybe they're trying to generate multiple sound effects there in a sequence. What's next? Realistic sound of an angry cat hissing. Okay, I don't need all that. Uh, cat meow, high pitched as if the kitten is scared cartoonish. None of those sound like exactly what I'm looking for right now, but that's an interesting feature, the similar effects. I can see how that could come in handy. All right, back to our video editor. Let's drag in our cat meow. We'll put it toward the end here because that's where it happens. Let's move things over a bit. Oh, it looks like he's already meowing there. Let's back up a little bit, drag through. All right, right about there. Big, big meow and done. Let's back up to where it starts. And let's see, right about... There, I think, is where he's going to start making the noise. So let's go ahead and put this clip on a lower audio track. We'll put it right about there and back up a little bit and play through and see what we got. Okay, I think that works. It's way too loud, so let's bring the volume down quite a bit here. Play through that again. Yeah, that'll work for me. We can go ahead and cut the rest of this off. The rest of this audio clip, we'll just split it and then delete this end. All right, back to 11 labs, let's get our rain. I'm gonna say the muffled sound of steady rain heard through a closed window in a home, because if I just say rain, I don't want it to be like we're out in a rainstorm. So let's give this a shot. We'll go ahead and turn looping on for this one in case we wanna repeat that, make our scene longer or something. Leave the duration on auto and hit go. Okay, it made all these four seconds long. Let's see what we've got. All right, the looping sounds pretty good. The sound of the rain is a little too crackly, I think. Let's see what else we've got. All right, number three. All right, I think I'm liking that one. Number four. That's okay, but I think number three is the winner. Let's go ahead and grab that one, MP3. Back in our video editor, we're gonna need another audio track. Let's add that. And we can shrink up this top audio track a bit here. Drag in our rain sound. All right, move it all the way over to the left. All right, let's see how that works. That's pretty good. I think we can bring the volume down a good bit here. Try that again. Yeah, we're doing all right there. Now, our sound of our rain is gonna end right here because it's only four seconds. 
And we don't want our rain to stop there, but fortunately we looped this sound effect. So let's just copy it, paste it in here, drag it over to the end of the first one and see how that sounds together. I think there's a gap in our rain file. Let's pump the volume up here a little bit and mute these other tracks. Check this out. Yeah, there's definitely a little silence at the end of this clip and it should not be that way for a file that we're gonna loop. So I went back to 11 Labs and downloaded the file again to see if maybe it was just an issue with the export or download or whatever, but it was exactly the same. So I went ahead and downloaded the file as a WAV file. We'll drop that in here. Let's scoot over and check this out. And this WAV file looks like it does not have a gap at the beginning or the end. So let's go ahead and copy this, drop it in right next to it and scoot it up real close. We'll zoom in here a bit more. All right, I see a little space here in the waveform, but it's less than a frame. So that might be just the way the waveform is displaying. Let's zoom this out, play through, see if we hear a gap or if it's smooth. That sounds pretty smooth compared to our MP3 file. Yeah, definitely a gap in the MP3 file. Let's play the wave again. Yeah, that one's smooth. So for looped sound effects, I guess downloading as a wave is the way to go. Let's get rid of these MP3s. We'll drag the wave files over. Definitely want to bring the volume way back down. Unmute our other tracks here. Go to the beginning and see what we got. We're sounding pretty good, but I think we need to bring the volume of this cat's meow down just a bit. Let's hear that part again. Yeah, it seems just a little too loud. Let's bring him down. Try again. Yeah, I think that's better. Let's go back to the sipping noise and see how that sounds. Eh, that might be a little too loud too. Let's just bring that down a bit. All right, let's come back to the beginning and play the whole thing through. I think we got that sounding pretty good. Now you can also use this for things like transition sounds, like maybe a fast whoosh, we'll turn off the looping for that. For the duration, I definitely don't want that to be four seconds. So let's turn off auto and make that about one second and go. And here's what we got. That was really fast. The second one. Okay, that was fast. Definitely a little more whooshy. Third one. All right, that one was a little choppy and not so whooshy. Fourth one. Oh, I like that one. Or maybe you need an audience reaction, but you don't have an audience. We'll do small crowd cheering and clapping. Switch the duration of that back to auto, I guess, and hit go. And it sure looks like auto for the duration translates to four seconds. Let's see what it gave us. That one was weird. That one sounded pretty good. Now 11 Labs has a whole music section where you can create songs with instrumentals and vocals, but you can do music things here in sound effects too, like funny piano outro. Or maybe jazz inspired lo-fi background music. Switch that duration up to the whole 30 seconds. Make it a long one and go. And here they are. That's interesting. Number two. All right, number three. Each one of these has a little something different going on. The last one. And something like this background music probably would have been a good idea to set that to looping so that you could easily stretch it across whatever length you're trying to have music in the background of. AI sound effects are available in all 11 Labs plans, including on the free tier. Of course, the free tier doesn't give you a commercial license and attribution is required.
And as far as the credit usage for sound effects, it says with the default duration, it's 200 credits per generation. If you set the duration yourself, it's 40 credits per second with a maximum duration, of course, of 30 seconds. If you're not already using Eleven Labs, there's a link in the description. Head over there, check it out, have fun creating some sound effects. My name is Bob. I appreciate you hanging out with me. I hope you found this video helpful or at least entertaining, and I hope you'll come back and join me for another video.